Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I'm going to answer this question. How do I determine when I created my Google account? And I'm going to show you what you can do and what you can't do in this video. But before I continue, do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button because I create this content specifically for you and I want to make sure you're getting it. So the question is, how do I find out when I created my account? Typically, what most people have been saying do is go to settings and under settings, go to forwarding, pop and IMAP and you can see it. You can't say so you can see it here. Now, I have seen it and I'll show you where I have seen it, but I cannot make it show up here. Now, I have pop is enabled. I have IMAP is enabled. It's not here. This account is pretty new. I created this account somewhere in mid 2021 for this video series. But let me show you another account. Here's my Teddy Burris at Gmail. Now, I created this account. Check it out back in 2006. And then look, it's showing it. Pop is enabled, IMAP is enabled, and it shows up right there. Now, if I disable Pop, and if I disable IMAP, and I save changes, and I go back to settings, go back to forward and Pop, it's not there. But if I enable it and save, and go back and look at it, go back to forward and Pop, it went away. Now, I hate the fact that it went away. I wanted to be able to save that. It was 9-2006. I can get it from the video. But it's not there anymore. Enable IMAP and save. Go back and look. Go to pop forwarding. It's gone. It was there. I, dis I disabled pop. I disabled IMAP. And it went away. So, I can't get it to come back. Now, here's another example. Let's go look at a Google Workplace one. Here's a Google Workplace. Okay, this is one of my Google Workplace accounts. 7-5-2012 is when I created. Now, I'm afraid that if I disable POP and or disable IMAP, that'll go away. And, my, and here, let me give you one more example. Here's another uh, Google Workplace. And there it is. I created this account in 2011. I created the whole account in 2011. But I fear if I disable that, just as I did earlier in the other TeddyBurris.com account, or T, uh, Teddy Burris, it was the NC wise man at Teddy Burris, that that'll go away and I can't get it to come back. So my point of sharing this is all over the internet, the recommendation is how do I find out when the account was set in? Go look at your POP and IMAP settings. But that is not any longer the, def uh, the, the best answer because it may not be there if you don't have POP or and or IMAP enabled. And if you change it, it goes away. Now, the question still stands. How do I figure out when I created my Google account? Let me show you another conversation. So where I expect to see it would be under myaccount.google.com. Myaccount.google.com, you would think it would be there. I have looked through every section under myaccount.google.com and nowhere in there does it tell me when I created the account. Why? I have no idea. I expect under myaccount.google.com to be able to see that information, but it doesn't exist. So the recommendation of go look at settings, pop, uh, pop slash IMAP, that may work for some accounts but it is not going to work for all accounts. So what's the answer to the question? Maybe if you have pop enabled, you can look at your, for older accounts, you can look at your uh, forwarding and pop slash IMAP setting. Maybe if you save your first email you sent out or the first email you received or the welcoming email you got from Google, you can look at your first email maybe you're not going to be able to get the answer. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. These are the best answers I have. I hope they're useful for you.